What's good, everyone? It's your boy, Snarky Mark, and I am back. Your boy took a little sabbatical. Life's going on. I had to take a little break. We still been posting the shorts, but this is the first time in a while that I've done an actual full-length video. And we've been doing the live streams, too, so tune into the live streams if you haven't been seeing them. But I finally had time to make a video. Today, we're going to be talking about Jacob Fatu. We're going to be talking about is the injury legitimate or not. But before we get started, if you're a fan of what we do, like, subscribe, comment, share, tell your mama about us. I promise she won't regret it. I promise you that. But on a real note, thank y'all to the people that's been supporting us. Thank y'all to the people that's helped us grow. I'm so sorry that I had to take a short break. Just got a little burnt out. But now that I'm, but now that I took a break, I'm back. My head's clear. We're good. Your boy is doing great. So I hope y'all are doing wonderful. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, at SummerSlam, Jacob Fatu did a splash from the top rope onto the announce table onto Cody Rhodes, and he appeared to hurt his knee. Now, I'm just going to say this. That was wonderful selling because me and all the Flats crew, when we did our live stream, we all thought it was over with for Jacob. That's the best thing going on in the bloodline like right now. So we thought it was over with. We thought that the bloodline's best person got hurt. So we were tripping for a second. But according to Fightful Select, and also according to Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez, that that might have been planned, that the injury spot might have been planned to prevent Jacob Fatu going face to face with Roman Reigns so soon. But also some say that they saw Jacob Fatu, he had to be kind of helped and guided backstage after everything went off the air. So some people think that there's like a semblance of realism into his injury and they think that maybe it's not as serious as they're actually leading on, which is great. So I'm along that too, because if you actually look at the spot, he banged his knee really hard on the announce table. So I think that there's something there, maybe just some swelling, maybe, I don't know, maybe just something bruised because I don't, for those of y'all that's never really hurt yourself or played sports or anything like that, whenever you like, whenever you have a bruised bone, that doesn't sound that drastic. Which I mean, in the long in the long term, it isn't drastic, but it's painful. A bruised a bruised knee is painful, especially if it goes down to the bone. That hurts, and that takes a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, of just a little bit of rehabilitation. So, whatever it is that happened to Jacob Fatu, I'm relieved to hear. Well, then again, people are suspecting that it's not a big injury, but. I'm more geared to believe that it's not a huge injury as well. So I'm happy that it's not this huge catastrophic injury because when it first happened, I thought he was out of there. I thought he was out of there for the long run. So for a lot of sources to be saying that it was planned for him to feign an injury so he doesn't have to go face to face with Roman, I'm relieved to hear that. So I hope for Jacob Fatu um, speedy recovery and I'm really looking forward to what the Bloodline and Roman Reigns have going on. This is really heating up. This is really picking up. The pop Roman got was astronomical. Astronomical. It was insane. Roman, it's just something, it, it almost makes you emotional because it's just something you know Roman has been wanting ever since he was first getting that big push in like 2014 2015 something like that and people finally accepted him because it came natural he wasn't pushed down their throats we went not me i didn't i wasn't hating him but as a whole everyone went from hating him to now people want him people want him badly to take down the new version of the bloodline bloodline wolf pack <laughs> that's what i'm gonna start calling him but what else can I say? This, They know what they're doing. Triple H, Paul Heyman, Roman, everybody that's plotting this right now, they cooking. WWE, y'all are cooking. Nice. 
<laughs> I couldn't play the English announce team because I could have possibly been copyrighted. But with that being said, comment down below. Tell me how you think this Bloodline storyline is going to go. I personally think it's going to lead to a War Games match. I think he's going to reunite with the Usos, get somebody else on his side. I don't know who yet. I don't even want to speculate. I just want to enjoy the ride. But comment down below what you think is going to happen. Comment down below. What do you think the severity of Jacob Fatu's injury is, if it's even an injury at all? Let me know. Once again, this is Snarky Mark from the Flats Entertainment. I am back like I never left. I love y'all. Peace.